Hi, this is Peter from My Hey Math, and we're going to do a factoring problem. Very easy, but this is a little different. We have a number in the front. When that happens, we're going to do what we call the bridge. This is how you do it. 5 times 14. Well, 5 times 14 is going to give us 70. That's true. When your numbers are when we multiply, give us 70, but when we combine or add, we'll give us negative 17. Well, we can't use this. 14 and 5 do not work. We can use a negative 10 times a negative 7, which is a positive 70, which we're looking for. And a negative 10 and a negative 17, when you combine, give us negative 17. That's what we're going to use. We're going to rewrite the problem. 5x squared, which I just brought down, negative 10x, negative 7x, plus 14, which I just brought down. This is equal to this. I just rewrote it. We have one, two, three, four pieces. What do we do with four pieces? We regroup. We have four pieces. We cut it down the middle. This is a polynomial. And we're going to go ahead and do our parentheses. What can we factor out between this, these two? This is a binomial. We can take out a 5 and an x. That's true. 5x times something gives us this. What are we missing? An x. 5x times x is 5x squared. Negative. 5x times a negative something gives us negative 10x. What are we missing? 2. This times this is that. That's true. We already have one piece to the puzzle. Let's bring this over here. That's part of the process. Now we need something on the outside when we multiply gives us this and this. Well, what am I missing? Negative 7. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. Negative 7 times a uh, negative 2 is actually a positive 14. So negative 8 is a positive 14. We have our factors which are these. That's one, and the other, bring it down. This is your two factors we've done. Have a great day. Thank you.